Hey guys, so if you guys have kind of been following my channel, you know I've kind of been getting into more of like the review side of things. So take a look at different tech products that are out there and doing a little bit of reviews for them. Uh, one of these things that I actually wanted to talk about is a product that I use myself and it's more of a digital only product. I know I've done other ones with like microphones, headphones and stuff like that. But um, this one is actually the, uh, an Audible membership. Now, Audible was something I didn't know a lot about actually until about a little over a year ago. Um, and it all kind of started when I started uh, I started commuting for work, actually. I'd have this 45-minute drive there and back, and it was kind of a drag. And I, I started you know, off by listening to music quite a bit, and that was fine for a while, but of course music gets old. And then I started listening to podcasts, and podcasts were really fine for a while as well, but I, you know, I was commuting every single day almost, except for my two-day weekends. And podcasts kind of got old. I got sick of listening to the same old people, the same old stuff over and over again. And then I kind of heard about Audible, and I was like, you know what? Audiobooks are kind of nice. I had listened to them before. I really enjoyed audiobooks. You know, it's kind of fun to have a fictional story told to you while you drive. It definitely makes the time fly better. It almost makes me get excited to get in the morning, to get up in the morning and, uh, and go to work just to, you know, listen to the next part of the story that, that happens. Um, so that being said, I, you know, I looked at it, uh, and Audible actually has a, a free trial service, which I, I started out with it, and I actually used it to get a couple of, uh, or I got a, a Jonathan Stroud book. It still started me off with, um, I believe it was, yeah, it was two free Audible tokens, or Audible, um, yeah, Audible kind of tokens that you can use to purchase books within the Audible store, which is kind of like an online marketplace for different audio books that are out there. So I used that to, and I got a couple of Jonathan Stroud books that I had been meaning to write, or meaning to read. Um, yeah, a little bit of a younger, kind of geared author, but I had read the books when I was younger, and I just kind of wanted a, a nice, fun, fictional story that I could jump into. Well, <laughs> even like from the get-go, getting into those books, it was absolutely amazing. Like I kind of said earlier, I, it made my uh, commute fly through so fast. And after I finished those books, I, I kind of jumped over, I uh, started listening to, you know, um, The Name of the Wind was, was a fun fictional one I listened to, as well as The Martian which was also really good. And I kind of just started jumping around and all those books were absolutely just amazing. So yeah, I listened to like the Amulet of Sarmic, Samarkand as well, which is that Jonathan Stroud book. And then I jumped into the, you know, Game of Thrones. So I read, but I was kind of just re listening to them and going through them and oh man, it, it's just, it's a different kind of genre when you're listening to stuff like that. And it absolutely is amazing. And I kind of was thinking to myself, you know, I was dropping a lot of money on audiobooks in the past. I, even when there was like a buy two, get one deal, which is usually what I kind of took advantage of with physical audiobooks in store, I still wasn't getting the true value out of it. It was just a little bit, it was kind of expensive. Honestly, I was dropping like $30 every, uh, pretty frequently uh, throughout the month, maybe, you know, um, once or twice a month. It was pretty expensive. And then I started using Audible, and uh, after I did that, my free trial was up, I happily signed up for, you know, continuing membership. They give you a free credit each month, um, which you can use towards a book of your choice, or else you can also purchase the books, and you do get a reduced rate which is kind of nice. It's a 30% discount on all the books if you have a, an Audible Gold membership, which is kind of awesome. And that costs about $15 a month. Now, that is a little bit steep, um, you know, considered to think, you know, like a Netflix and um, you know, even like Spotify, things like that will cost more like $7, $8 a month. Yeah, Audible does cost $15 a month. You can justify it a little bit. You know, you are getting a free book every month and you can download that book and it doesn't go away when your month trial is over. You own that audio book. It is physically stored on your phone or up in the cloud, but you do own it which is kind of awesome, but they, you know, and I justify it that way. I definitely enjoy the books I listen to. It's made my commute amazing. I definitely like getting up a lot more, just, you know, getting to, being excited to, to hear the next part of that story. And even at the end of work, I get to drive home and listen to it as well. It makes my commute fly by. I don't even like to stop for gas a lot of times because of that, which is kind of, kind of nice. It's a nice change of pace for me. And I, you know, it's one of those things where even if you do start getting sick of audiobooks, you just flip over to a different type of audiobook. So it works out pretty well. And audio, or Audible really is the best program out there as far as I know to do that. Like I said, you can start out with the free, uh, free trial. I almost guarantee though that like if you enjoy audiobooks, you'll want to stick with it for, for a couple months. Like I said, it's $15 a month. You do get a couple extra credits in the beginning, like three credits that you can use towards specific books to kind of get you started. And then It'll be, yeah, $15 a month, and then you'll get a free credit each month for a new book, as well as a 30% discount on any other audiobook. So if you finish your audiobooks a little bit faster than other people, you can definitely invest for a little bit more. Yeah, and Audible does as well have a big, or it has a huge selection of books out there. Honestly, if you if there's a, you know, a good book out there that you want to listen to, it's probably on Audible. All the main ones, of course, are out there. A bunch of kind of even, um, not as modest ones, you know, that, that are just kind of mixed in out there, which are also pretty nice. Um... As well, you know, and 
it does kind of play out as well. That $15 membership, I don't know if you guys will usually buy audiobooks. What kind of ends up happening though is audiobooks can be kind of expensive. They can be anywhere from like even like $10 if you find some of the cheaper ones. They can go $30, $40, $50. It's, they're actually pretty expensive. Audible books, you know, considering you're paying $15 a month for a book, um, it's not bad. It, it really isn't bad. It's actually a, it's a pretty fair price for an audiobook if you guys kind of go out there and go for them. Um, there are definitely ones out there that I was looking at, you know, especially the Game of Thrones ones out there are like, can be like $40 each which is absolutely insane. And like I said, with the gold membership, which costs $15 a month, you can either get the book for free for the month with, their, with your credit, or you can actually get a 30% discount on that, which is actually pretty slick with that guy. And of course there is, you know, it's, it's owned by Amazon. So Amazon is super on top of it. The app's always up to date. It is pretty nice, you know, to kind of have a big company behind something like that. So they can keep everything kind of, you know, on the wraps. So if things updated, they always make sure there's a lot of books out there. And yeah, it actually works out pretty well. Well, anyways, guys, I kind of hope you enjoyed this. Um, the biggest cons of Audible, you know, it might be a little bit pricey, but I at least recommend going out there and trying a free trial. And a lot of times they have special promotions for free trials. I'll toss a link in the description for, you know, a couple things on there that you guys can check out for sure. But other than that, I'll kind of let you guys go on and make your own decision. Like I said, I definitely recommend it. Um, totally up to you guys. Well, I'll let you guys have a great night, all right?